Today at the Pentagon, this day of remembrance began with the unfurling of a large American flag. The 9-11 attack was the deadliest foreign attack on U.S. soil since the war with the British back in 1812. CBS's David Martin spoke with three people inside the Pentagon 20 years ago today. I just looked up and you know, a plane was flying directly at us. Sean Bozier was one of the few people at the Pentagon who saw the plane coming in so low it took down a street light. From the moment you saw it, saw the plane, how long was it until it hit? I'd say about 10 to maybe 10 to 15 seconds. 10 to 15 seconds. So. And in that 10 to 15 seconds, you're thinking what? Just couldn't believe something that big would be flying that low and flying directly at us. At 530 miles per hour, loaded with 7,000 gallons of jet fuel and carrying 59 souls. Bozier was in that control tower for the Pentagon's helo pad. What did it sound like? Like someone sawing metal. So you can hear the metal grinding through the concrete. An explosion, like a bomb. And when I opened my eyes, there was a fireball just passing right beside me. It was Sheila Moody's first day at the Pentagon. Outside. And her office was on the outer ring of the building, directly in the path of the plane. This is that room today. Looks totally Probably different cubicles? Totally, yes, totally, totally different. different. Looking around and then coming to the realization I'm trapped. Am I going to die? I'm going to die here. Of the 46 people in her office, she was one of only three to survive. And I remember praying, I'm like, God, I, do, I don't believe you brought me here for me to die like this. And that's when I heard the fire extinguisher. First responders were making their way into the building. All my breath was gone, and I'm doubled over, and I'm coughing. There's some movement, and I reach out through the smoke. And there was a, just a hand on the other side of the smoke, and he just grabbed me and pulled me through. Hey, you. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy stuff. I know. The hand belonged to an Army Ranger named Chris Brahman. He rescued three people, but Sheila Moody is the only one who lived. After the building collapsed, Brahman labored 60 hours straight searching the ruins for bodies. He recovered 63, exactly one third of all the people who died that day at the Pentagon. My rule was the bodies were never to touch the ground again because they died with honor and they were gonna go out with honor. Before entering the building for the first time, Brahman had asked God to give him strength. Who's to say what guided him to Sheila Moody? I prayed to go in the building, and she was praying to come out, and God answered both our prayers. David Martin, CBS News, the Pentagon.